Despite the recent advancements in medicine, heart failure still remains the number one cause of death in this country. Right here in the Valley, Mercy Gilbert Medical Center is conducting research that may provide new treatment options and save lives. Joining me is Dr. Nabil Deeb, Director of Cardiovascular Research. Thank you so much for joining us. This is really interesting and groundbreaking research. Tell me, why is there a need for clinical research to look at the different treatment options for you know, heart disease and stroke? Well, despite of uh, best medical therapy available today, there's still um, uh, approximately 500,000 patients die from heart failure uh, wow. per, per year. So clearly we need a new therapy that can change this path, whether the quality of life or the uh, uh, death. Uh, as you know, in the United States, uh, the uh, only a treatment available for end-stage heart failure is heart transplant and we have only available about 3,000 uh, uh, donor per year and what we need is 500,000 patients so clearly some therapy need to take a place to change the course of this disease and one of the therapies is adult stem uh, cell therapy now how does adult cell cell therapy play uh, what role does it play in heart disease and stroke research well, right now is um, actually uh, has been tremendous advancement in the stem cell over the last 13 years. The first stem cell in the United States started in the year 2000. And now over the last 13 years, uh, we have seen tremendous uh, development in terms of isolating the stem cell, in terms of expand them, and the transplant them, the method of delivery. And those uh, tremendous advancements will play significant role in the way that we are going to treat uh, cardiovascular disease in medicine. Now, where do these adult stem cells come from and who's a candidate for this? Yes, yeah, so uh, clearly depending on the clinical indication, we divide uh, the clinical indication to patients who have heart attack, heart failure, uh, refractory chest pain, uh, all those different indications or a stroke. And we do have a stem cell line uh, to uh, apply on those patients or to treat those patients currently and the research and uh, there's this three phases in research and some of this research now uh, very advanced in phase three which is just before the commercialization to become available to everyone wow now what kind of adult stem cells are being used and how are they administered to these patients yeah so the most common uh, now adult uh, uh, stem cell use taken from the bone marrow Okay. And uh, we can apply them in two forms, whether we call it autologous, which is mean taking from the same body of the patient and apply to the same patient, or allogeneic, which is mean taking from one donor and then we can expand those cells and uh, one patient from one donor, we, we can obtain cell to treat 30,000 patients. Wow, and tell me what we we're looking at here on the screen. This is uh, one way of delivering a stem cell, and what you see here, a map of the heart in a three-dimension, areas in heart attack in red. This system can identify area of heart attack, and the black dot is the area where we transplanted the stem cell to the heart attack. Now, what is the future, you know, what does it hold for these adult stem cells? Yeah, what's, uh, uh, this, uh, w what we think is that the stem cell is going to be the uh, treatment of the disease instead of treating symptoms. Today what we do most of the time, we treat the symptoms. Yes. But cell therapy is supposed to treat the disease, which is mean regeneration of a new heart muscle or regeneration of a new blood vessels to make the heart stronger or to build a new blood vessel to increase the blood supply to the heart. And show me uh, or tell me what we're looking at here. Where this is a close up here of a, the heart. Currently, uh, is a method of delivery of uh, stem cell available only in a few institutions in the United States. And what we... Uh, and Mercy Gilbert being one of them? One of them. Uh, and we have stem cell, six stem cell trial to treat patients with heart attack, heart failure, uh, refractory chest pain, and the stroke. And what we're looking at, those little, uh, the, you know, kind of, I would say the white, those are the stem cells right there that we're seeing being put in and going into the heart. That's correct. This is a new method of delivery to make it uh, easy for any cardiologist to be able to deliver the cell. And consequently, we kind of treat much more number of patients worldwide. And so what's the next kind of new promising ther therapy in cardiovascular research in medicine? In addition to the stem cell, currently we are uh, running a research also uh, exists in Mercy Gilbert in multi-center clinical trial in the U.S. 
a, a new stent that uh, can be placed in the artery for blockages, to treat a blockage, and the stent can be absorbed within two years. Wow. And no need uh, for long-term anticoagulation. So there's tremendous exciting technology coming in cardiovascular disease. Yeah, this is groundbreaking research. And you have, if people are interested, they can receive free brochures and open studies as well. That's correct. It is a sponsored studies. Uh, so the patient, uh, if he's eligible, whether he have heart failure, shortness of breath, despite of best medical therapy available, or recent heart attack, or continue to have chest pain, or a stroke that has been six months and continue to have uh, consequences of the stroke, disability, and so on. All right. So the, all those, we have uh, research available for such patients. Such groundbreaking research, and you're on the forefront of it, so it's just so amazing. Thank you so much, doctor, for taking the time to come in. And of course, for more information about Dignity Health's cardiovascular research program, just visit mercygilbert.org or call the number you see right there on your screen. Thanks, Suzanne. We'll be right back.